Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at the common source amplifier with a source degeneration resistor and how that source degeneration resistor affects its performance. So I have redrawn my common source amplifier, uh, exactly the same as the previous case, except now I have resistor RS connected to the source of the transistor. Uh, my small signal AC equivalent circuit is uh, also very similar. I have included my RS resistor. And for simplicity, I'm going to ignore the effect of little rho. Um, and I'm just going to assume uh, that lambda is equal to zero, meaning that I'm going to ignore the channel length modulation effect. Uh, and that's going to simplify my calculations and give me a fairly good approximation. My uh, input voltage, in this case, I can see that it's going to be equal to now uh, VGS plus the voltage drop across the RS resistor. Um, which is going to be the current flowing through that resistor times the resistance. The current flowing through RS, we can see that it's going to be GM times VGS coming from that current source. And so I will have that VN is equal to VGS plus um, current times resistance, GM VGS times RS, which I could also rewrite as uh, VGS times <coughs> 1 plus GM RS. <clears throat> my output voltage is going to be uh, the voltage um, at the uh, top terminal of resistor RD. Now notice that the current flowing through resistor RD is also GM times VGS, but it is flowing uh, from ground towards V out. So in other words, I have current flowing through that resistor, which must be equal to the value of GM VGS. It was the exact same current that was flowing through this resistor. I see this goes flowing through that uh, through that circular path. And so my voltage at the out is going to be equal to the voltage drop across RD. Notice that because of the direction of the current, it's going to be 0 minus GMVGS times RD. And so my um, voltage gain which is, by definition, output voltage over input voltage. It's going to be equal to negative Gm Vgs Rd divided by Vgs times 1 plus Gm Rs. The Vgs's um, can be factored out and cancelled. And this gives me minus Gm Rd divided by 1 plus EMRS. Uh, something important to notice about this expression is that it's the exact same gain as I had before without my source degeneration resistor, right? It was minus GM times RD in that case. And in this case, it is divided by um, the factor 1 plus GMRS, which uh, we may now be able to identify as the, the feedback factor. Um, and in fact, RS provides negative feedback to the circuit, and the effect is that it is decreasing the overall gain of the circuit by the, um, the feedback factor, um, 1 plus the loop gain. Uh, and we should expect that it's going to increase the bandwidth of the circuit, and that's exactly what it does. And so in terms of performance, I'll just something to add a little note here. Um, RS provides negative feedback to the circuit. Um, it produces amplifier gain by a factor of 1 plus Vm times Rs, we used to refer to it as the amount of feedback. Um, and this, you know, has other benefits. As we saw, um, a lot of the benefits of negative feedback, for example, you will see it increases the bandwidth of the amplifier. Um, if you wanted to relate it to the um, expression for voltage gain that we have seen for the VJT transistor, notice that I can divide numerator and denominator 
by uh, gm and get the a very similar expression. Right? This will be equal to uh, minus rd divided by 1 over gm plus rs, where 1 over gm will be the equivalent of little re um, in the BJT transistor, and so the, you can also express it as negative, the overall drain resistance divided by the overall source resistance. And if you look at the T model for the transistor, um, it has, perhaps it is more visual than this, because it has that 1 over GM resistor. In this case, we will have to add RS, but it has that 1 over GM resistor there. This is GM VVS. Um, and yeah, this is really the drain resistor RT. So if you were to be uh, in as your V uh, out, if you were to um, go with your uh, T model for the transistor when you were doing the small signal, this is the equivalent. And in fact, that's probably what most uh, textbooks do. Uh, you will see that the gain of, of this amplifier can be expressed as negative. The overall resistance connected to the drain divided by the overall resistance connected to the source terminal, so to speak. And so similar to what we have seen for uh, the BJT amplifier. Normally when you're talking about MOSFETs, it's uh, more common to encounter the first expression, minus EMRD divided by 1 plus EMRS. In terms of um, how it affects the input resistance and output resistance, uh, the input resistance is still infinity, and the output resistance is still going to be approximately equal to um, RD. Typically, RD is just going to swamp the other term. And so, um, the thing to remember is that mostly what, see, what is affected by the addition of the source degeneration resistor is the gain of the amplifier, and it is reduced overall. But other things, as we shall see, will be increased. The one that we're going to be focusing most on um, in this week material is going to be the bandwidth. And uh, that's it. I highlight those results. And we can move on to the next type of amplifier. Thank you.